We once tried to make machines think like humans. But now that we've reached that point, the script has flipped. It is no longer about proving that machines can be humans. It's about proving that we are. Fundamentally, these models are just getting better, and that will keep happening. In 1950, Alan Turing devised a test in which a human evaluator was presented with a transcript of a conversation between another human and a machine. If the human evaluator could not tell which side of the conversation was the machine and which was the human, the machine had passed the Turing test. Today, by many people's assessment, ChatGPT passes the original Turing test. But we have moved the goalpost since the 50s. And now I'm just satisfied with AI appearing human-like in text form. But with content being generated by AI and bots, maybe it's time that you ask yourself on the internet, how can you actually prove that you are human? The most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys, they'll be machines. And eventually they will completely outthink their makers. The theory that the internet is no longer alive with human voices, but are overrun with bots and AI, is called the dead internet theory. The dead internet theory. You ever heard of dead internet theory? It has gained traction the last couple of years, which makes sense due to the rapid advances in AI technology. But does it have any basis in reality? We do know for a fact that bots now make up over half of the activity on the internet. But a bot is basically just a computer program with a predetermined behavior. It's mostly just all the boring stuff, search engine crawlers, APIs, website scrapers, etc. These are mostly just programs which goes by unnoticed for the average user. People don't generally care that much about all the technical stuff. We are more interested in communication, content consumption, social media, that kind of stuff. And this part of the internet is still being spearheaded by humans. I think there's a better thesis on what might become of the internet in the future, where AI has become indiscernible from humans. First, let's dive into the current state of AI-generated content. But even if the future does belong to the robots, our bodies and our brains still have immense untapped potentialities. Right now, AI-generated content mostly rely on humans for prompting and uploading. The involvement of humans to prompt acts as kind of a speed bump, limiting how out of hand things can get. But most of the AI that we see on the internet today is in some shape or form still being prompted or created by a human. But with more processes becoming fully automated, it begs the question, why not remove the human component from AI content generation entirely? Today, platforms like Instagram and TikTok are constantly trying to optimize engagement and time spent on their platform. They do this by tracking your every second spent on their platform, trying to predict your taste and presenting you with new content that might make you want to stay a little longer. However, these platforms don't generate the content itself. Instead, they are dependent on other humans, other users to create and share content for this algorithm to distribute. In essence, the algorithm is still very dumb. It understands which content works and which doesn't, but it can only look at the numbers. It can't really understand what makes some content work and some content not work. But now instead, let's imagine a social media feed, not just controlled by AI, but with content being mainly created autonomously by AI. Social media started out as people primarily interacting with their friends. And now it is, you know, at least half of the content is basically people interacting with creators or content that's not created by people who they kind of personally know. I think AI is probably going to accelerate that. It will give all these people additional tools. But then I think that there will be a bunch of kind of green field type stuff where maybe in the future there will be content that is purely generated by AI, by the system, personalized for you. This would be a paradigm shift in how we consume content from a world where the algorithms was just redistributing content to a world where it was the creator running thousands of tiny experiments on you and everybody else individually, optimizing engagement on a much more sophisticated level than now. In essence, you would be turned into a feedback mechanism for optimization, like a never ending cycle of algorithmic survival of the fittest. But you are not the predator, you're the environment. And the AI algorithm 
is a great white shark getting stronger and faster, tailored specifically to get you. If you think doom scrolling is bad today, you haven't seen nothing yet. But what about the internet? Will it die like in the dead internet theory? The dark forest of the internet is an alternative theory about what the future of the internet might look like. It goes something like this. On the top level of the forest is where the giants roam. We have the meta, we have the X, TikTok, etc. All the big guys. Up here you can't trust anyone. You don't know who's an AI and who's an actual human being. You need to question everything and everyone because the name of the game is brain dead engagement. Scams, bots and AI agents trying to influence you in different ways. Beneath the forest floor, hidden, is where you'll find all the hidden ecosystems. Private discords, Slack channels, Snapchat groups, niche forums with aggressive authentication systems. Here you can group up with other like-minded people you trust to communicate and share thoughts and ideas. If you want genuine human interaction in the internet, this is where you will want to be. Dig deeper and you will find old forest decomposing. That would be your unindexed deep net or the dark net only accessible by the Onion Network. In this future, you must be able to prove that you're human if you want to be in the healthy ecosystems. Proving that you're not a surface level AI trying to infiltrate, it is by a large and arms race, where AI will constantly be catching up to your current level of security. There's a few things that you might ask an AI agent if you wanted to reveal whether or not it's an AI agent. These large language models don't have real experiences, they only have data. So it often comes off as ingenuine when they're trying to give an account of something they experienced. However, no matter how sophisticated we think our conversational skills are, or how good we are at knowing people, even by asking these sophisticated questions, we are still relying on talking to someone online. And that is something that can be faked and mimicked by an AI agent. This leaves us with the ultimate reverse Turing test. The one test that until we reach ex machina level of robotics, no AI can pass. The meat test. The meat test is very simple. You meet people in meat space. You meet them in real life and vouch for their humanness. Maybe we will regress into something more assembling the Neolithic period where people were skeptical about outsiders, but trusted their neighbors. Maybe this is the future of the internet. If you look at the trajectory from Dolly 1 to 2 to 3 to Sora, you know, there were a lot of people that were dunked on each version, saying it can't do this, it can't do that, and like, look at it now. 